E-bike riders champing at the bit to pedal their rigs into Horse Gulch will have to wait a bit longer while the city of Durango pursues amendments to the area's open space easements. You're watching the Local News Roundup, brought to you by Tafoya Barrett and Associates and Man Cave Barber. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. The Durango City Council directed city staff this month to pursue amendments to three conservation easements in Horse Gulch that would allow e-bikes to hit the trails. The easements, held in trust by the La Plata Open Space Conservancy, were established in 2010 to preserve open space, the natural environment, recreational and educational opportunities, and wildlife. They do not allow motorized vehicles, although the state of Colorado recognizes e-bikes as bicycles for all intents and purposes. The easements do not. To submit an amendment, the Conservancy costs $3,000 to cover staff research time. The city will spend about $9,000 to pursue amendments to all three of its open space easements in Horse Gulch. Staff told the council at its regular meeting on September 6th that the amendment process could take a year or more. In the meantime, e-bikes are banned in Horse Gulch. To follow developments, visit DurangoGov.org. Explore the remote wilderness study areas of southwest Colorado this fall with the Bureau of Land Management and the Canyons of the Ancients National Monument. The Cajon Wilderness Study Area Tour on September 28th will include a four-mile round trip on a dirt road to visit a walled-in spring to observe unique species of rabbit brush and to visit historic and prehistoric archaeological sites. The tour departs from the Pleasant View Post Office at 9 a.m. and will return by 3 p.m. The Cross Canyon Wilderness Study Area will be the destination of a tour on October 22nd. Tour guide Chris Barnes, a board member with Southwest Colorado Canyons Alliance, will discuss the history, management, and differences between designated wilderness and wilderness study areas. The tour leaves from the Lewis Post Office at 9 a.m. and returns at 4 p.m. For both hikes, bring plenty of water, lunch, and sun protection. To reserve a spot on the hikes, call 970-882-5600 between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday. The Durango Chamber of Commerce is now accepting nominations for its annual Durango Rocks Award. Categories include Business of the Year, Small Business of the Year, The Spirit of Durango, Nonprofit of the Year, Citizen of the Year, The Morley Ballantine Award, Entrepreneur of the Year, Volunteer of the Year, Young Professional of the Year, and Diplomat of the Year. Deadline to submit a nomination is 5 p.m. on Monday, October 31st. The award ceremony date has not yet been set, but it usually occurs in January. Visit DurangoBusiness.org for more information. Thanks for watching this week's Roundup. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.